Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Rishi and today we're going to create a language translation program using Python. So let's start programming. Here on Visual Studio Code, I've created a translation.py file where we can start uh, programming our Python file. So first we're going to import streamlit as st. So this is basically a Python program that allows us to build and share data apps. And we're also going to import another library called from transformers import pipeline. So this is basically, transformers is basically a deep learning model that uses a neural network architecture to transform one type of input into another type of output, just like chatbots, like ChatGPT. And now we're going to create the basic configuration of our app. So for S, from uh, Streamlit, we're going to do st page configuration. And in this, we're going to do our page title. And this is going to be translator. And then the icon for our page will be a just a robot. And finally, the layout is going to be wide. And after we're done with our se um, page setup configuration, so don't forget over here we have to add our commas. And now we're just going to add the basic title, which is st header, and then it's just language translator. And once you're done creating the header, now we're going to actually uh, include the language a dictionary of all the languages that we're going to include in our program. So we're going to do languages, and and in this dictionary, we're going to do French. And then we're also going to do um, English, Spanish, Italian, as well as German. So I'm just going to copy paste all of them over here. So here we have French, English, Spanish, Italian, and German. And now once we have included all the languages that we're going to incorporate, now we're going to include the language options. So we're going to do source language as well as the target language. So this is basically source language is the language that we're going to type in and target language is what we're going to like after the translation process, the target language is going to be the output of our program. So this is going to be streamlit.columns. And then after this, with the source language, we're going to create the source language code. And then for this, we're going to allow the user to select, use a select box. And then they're allowed to translate, translate from a list of the languages. And then similarly, for our um, target language, so the language that we want to translate it to, then we're going to do with target language. Then we're just going to do the target language code. And then that is also going to be another select box. And then instead of translate from, it's going to be translate to a list languages dot key dot keys. So we're going to save this and now we're going to start looking for our model options, which is going to do the main um, computational work. So now we're going to head on to hugging face. So here I am at hugging face. So this is a AI community which is building the future and here you can find trained large language models that will allow it that will help us to create our um, language translation program. So for us we're just going to first look for French then a large language model that translates from French to English. So French to English.
So I'm going to use the Helsinki model and which is um, we're going to look for a uh, English to frame French and we can just go to just copy this so that we can use it in our program and we can head on back to our program over here and just keep on finding the large language models and pasting them into another dictionary we can name as model options and here I'm just going to be copy pasting the model options to save time and I'm going to include the link of hugging face in the description below so now once we have all the model options now we're going to initialize another variable which is model key and this is going to be a formatted string and in this it's going to be the source language code and then it's going to be minus the targeted language code so it's yeah so target language code and then we're going to initialize another variable which is option LLM and in this we're just going to provide the options to the user so model options dot get and then the model key and now once we're, we're done with this now we're going to uh, include the user input where the user can actually type in the uh, language that they want that they're like want to translate from so we're going to do query is equal to the uh, streamlet dot text area and in this we're going to do a label and then this label is going to include another formatted string so your input text and then in this we're just going to include the languages from the uh, source code language source language code and then we're also going to include two so your text your input text two and then this is going to be the language languages and then the targeted language the language code and now once we're done with this we're going to also do a placeholder so in this placeholder we're just going to notify the user what they sh they can type in into the text box and we're just going to say so just enter the text to translate and we're also do going to include a key which is the question text and now once we're done with this now we're going to do the main translation process using these model options so for the translation and output process I'm gonna first type the code and explain the code to you later so so if st button so we're gonna create a translate button
So now I've finished typing up the uh, final steps of the program. So basically what this does is that when the user clicks the translate button, then there is a valid input to the uh, query variable, and then the code will attempt to translate the input text using the chosen language model option, like the um, option LLM. And then it'll display a spinner during the translation process, and it shows a translated output in a text area. And if any errors occur during the translation process, then it just says, sorry, um, I cannot translate this, uh, translate this. So now, now we can run the program. So to run the program, we just do streamlit run translation.py. And I'm just going to bring it out from my other screen over here. So it seems that there is an error. So it says that from languages. So basically the error is that from up here instead of. So I just had to do languages. Languages are keys. And another error that I have over here is that languages and then it's just going to be tar target language code. So instead of a dictionary, I should have included included in uh, instead of like curly brackets, I should have included square brackets. And the same problem goes over here. And now we're going to rerun the program. Up here, you just need to correct pipeline. And now, now it's recognized. So let me again import everything and it's going to do, it's going to be streamlit run app.py sorry not app.py translation.py and now our program should work and now we can translate from english to french and we can just say hello how are you doing and once we click translate then it says in progress using like a like a bar it says and it just gives the output Thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys in the next one.